the Geek Speak Show at WonderCon Anaheim 2017 here with the entire Roddenberry panel that just got out. I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Let's go down to line. Trevor, go ahead, take it. Oh, That's taking it. Uh, I'm Trevor Roth. Uh, I head up uh, Roddenberry Entertainment, and I've been producing on Rod and Barry. Man, that's hard to say. Yeah, Trevor, that's what's up. I'm Beast Boy. <laughs> A.K.A. Greg Sipes. I play Barry in the new Roddenberry series that we're putting together here, and uh, this is one of the executive producers here, Scott. How are you Pascoff. doing? I'm Scott Paskoff, one of the producers of Roddenberry. Happy to be part of this talented group, and uh, I'll pass it over to Rod. I'm Aaron Doe. I'm actually, uh, well, I'm Rod, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm Rod. That's about it. So, uh, yeah. I'm nervous. Hi, I'm Brittany Furlon. I play the Supreme Overlord, and um, I want Roddenberry to destroy Earth. <laughs> Benjamin Storm, a.k.a. the Cartoon Cobain. Nice to meet you, man. Hello, my name's Alexi Wasser. I, uh, I play the character of uh, Zoe. I'm very smart and very cool. And she is. So there's everybody. So we'll get to them in just a little bit without spoiling too much. But Trevor, let's start with you. How, how did how did this come about? Where how, how did it all get started? You know, it really it really came from the fans. You know, we really wanted to see if we can put the fans in the spotlight. And really, when you get down to what the heart of Rod and Barry are as characters, they are true science fiction geeks. They are true genre pop culture fans, and they have found a friendship um, through that that uh, not only compels them not to destroy our planet, which is good, but also just uh, allows them to sort of find their way in this crazy world of ours all while enjoying Terminators and and Matrixes and Star Trek and all of the like. So, so look, any good sci-fi, it, it, it's us in a way. It's literally us. If you are arguing about it out there, chances are they are having the same arguments in this show. Yeah, and not stupid arguments, smart, intelligent arguments. Smart, intelligent Sometimes arguments. So, again, let me have you guys go down the line again. Tell us who your characters are and how, how, do, they, how do they fit into, into the show. I'm Greg Sipes. I play Barry. Um, basically, it's like uh, I'm the laid-back, cool, uh, chill, take-it-easy alien that um, is the counterpart to my very anxious and worrisome, uh, n more nerdy... Uh, alien partner. We're sent here to destroy Earth, but we don't because we fall in love with Earth and, the, and pop culture and all the things we all love about Earth. Um, so we decide not to blow it up for now. Me. Okay. I'm Aaron Doe. Uh, I actually play Rod. And so Rod's basically, uh, he's kind of neurotic and angry and he thinks he's the leader when in actuality he's not the leader at all. Um, anytime that the actual leader comes up, he kind of tucks his tail and runs away, uh, which you'll hear from the actual leader now. I'm Brittany Furlan, and I play the Supreme Overlord, and basically the Supreme Overlord is super hot. <laughs> it's based on my character. It's based on me as a person, but I'm just kidding. Um, she's basically this really bad badass girl. Can I say that? Um, yeah. She's really badass and she basically sent Roddenberry down to destroy Earth and they, as they said, fall in love with Earth and all the fun stuff we have to offer. And so basically every time I contact them and I'm like, why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing? They are always giving me an excuse and kind of placating me. And so it's just a really fun show, basically, with the back and forth between all of us. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I play a bunch of different roles. I play utility roles, as you would call it, yeah? <laughs> yes. Uh, every character that comes to the goddamn door, I'm playing. Can we say that on this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, fuck that. We're yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Not that one? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lexi Wasser. Uh, I play Zoe. I'm Barry's love interest. I'm very into video games. Uh, I'm totally into podcasts, cool fashion, sometimes vintage. Uh, I wear eyeliner. And uh, I'm just not like a real cool nonstop surprise. You guys are going to find out. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can't wait for you all to see the... The beauty of these two as well, Rod and Barry, is that they, they couldn't be more opposite, as we talked about, but what bonds them is their love of pop culture and sci-fi. So that's the common core for them. And they're probably as equipped to destroy Earth as, you know, Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd were equipped to be spies and spies like us. So that also is a good, you know, dynamic between them because they're sent down to do it. Uh, they're incapable, but... Beyond that, they don't want to because. We can do it if we really want. <laughs> Maybe. Stay tuned. You might find out if they do. And you know the name Rod and Barry. Gee, I wonder where that came from. 
No, I, you, Trevor, you and, and, and Rod have been on the, on, on the Geek Speak show for yeah. a few times. Uh-huh. And I, from the way you're describing it, we ha- I haven't seen it yet, but the way you're describing it, it kind of sounds a little bit like you two. Well, um, I, look, we are fans foremost, I guess. So from that standpoint, yes. Uh, I don't know if I would want to be Rod or Barry. Or either, You'd want but to be very they're rough. definitely look. You'd want to be very they're rough. lovable characters. You're gonna love them. You're gonna see yourself in them, I suppose, as we do. And absolutely, I mean, there is a partnership the, between them as there is between Rod and I. So uh, from that standpoint, um, good friends and and lovers of what we all love. Where and how soon can we expect it? Um, I think we're we're working really hard right now, um, recording and and starting to animate. So we're hoping to have something out for people to see. In the next two months. And it'll be where? Um, it's going to be actually available. We're going to throw it out there to the world. This isn't something that we're like trying to right now put out on, on anything that you can't just get. So literally all through social media, through Facebook and Twitter and any of these people's, uh, by the way, following any of them will get you to be alerted when it's there and how to go check it out. Yeah, we'll put all of that down below right, so yeah, you guys like can find it all there. scroll of literally every single Facebook. Yeah, we'll put like a news ticker thing, like, there, there, follow everybody there. So, again, thanks, everybody. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Can we clap for ourselves? Yeah, we can clap for ourselves. Clap for ourselves. Yeah. Clap for ourselves. Yeah. I clap, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs>